today's video, I would like to show you how I clean rust off of cast iron. So many times you can find cast iron skillet pot at a garage sale or flea market, but it usually looks like this. Coated inside and out with rust. And you can look up on the internet and see a lot of different ways to clean the rust from the surface. Some have multiple steps and are kind of complicated. I actually use, have used two different techniques to do this. Today I'm going to show you one. Minimum steps and it's pretty easy. This pot I actually uh, found in my mother's yard a couple weeks when I was uh, helping her clean the yard. It's my uh, great aunt's, so it has meaning and sentimental value, so I would like to clean it up and keep it. After the pot is cleaned, there's a couple other steps you need to do to ensure that it stays in good cooking condition. It's called seasoning. Seasoning is where you keep the inside cookable and it also prevents the rust from returning because the rust will return if it's allowed to air dry. Also, it um, helps the surface when you cook the food not to stick as bad. I have a, um, let me get out my other. This is what a pan looks like when it is seasoned correctly and cared for properly. This pot, this pan, excuse me, skillet is used, this, this skillet is what I make cornbread from. That's the only time I use it is for my cornbread and cornbread does not stick in this. So I'll show you how I care for my pots after it's properly cleaned. Just wash with soap and water. If something is stuck on, you can use a SOS pad. Nice thing is that the surface really doesn't scratch. But if water is left to stand on the cookware for any length of time, it will rust. Once your cookware is washed and towel dried, turn the burner on the stove and set it on there to let it heat through and completely dry. This just takes a few minutes. You can see the steam coming from the skillet and you will be able to see the different color when um, it is dried. After the pot is washed and completely dried, to keep it seasoned, you are going to use just a plain paper towel and some cooking oil. I have peanut. You can use the vegetable, sunflower, whatever oil you have on hand. I know some people may say, don't use this kind of oil on your um, pan unless you're going to cook with it because it can become rancid as it sits there in the cabinet. One, this process is what my grandmother did. We never got sick. 
and also after you apply the oil first of all let me show so you're good you're just gonna put a little bit of oil on your paper towel and you're going to wipe down the pan and if you want to keep your outside looking nice you can wipe down that as well just until it's shiny key is you don't want a whole lot just a light like now let's get started with the rusty old pot all you need is a black trash bag and some oven cleaner I use the foam free just the cheap oven cleaner um, that I picked up at Walmart I do recommend wearing gloves and probably doing this out part outside just take the oven cleaner and coat the pot very well with the oven cleaner getting all the sides and uh, the bottom as well once it is completely coated put the cookware in your plastic black trash bag tie it up and then sit it outside in the sun for at least eight hours the heat from the sun activates the oven cleaner and that's where the magic happens so after I coat it with the oven cleaner sit it outside I'll just forget about it for the day well it's the next morning and I'm fixing to clean my pot I went ahead and just let it set overnight because I didn't have time to clean it yesterday evening. Just a warning, this part is very, very messy. And so, yes, it's probably best that you do it outside. But I'm going to use gloves and um, a SOS pad along with a scrub brush. So I start off by just scrubbing uh, all the loose material off with a scrub brush and then I take a SOS pad and scrub. You don't have to apply a lot of pressure, you don't have to do any kind of special scrub technique, just clean. Clean and rinse, clean and rinse. Sometimes after doing this one time and I see a little bit more rust that I want to get off, I'll go ahead and spray the pan down again with the oven cleaner, put it back in my bag and uh, set it back outside for another day. I went ahead and did repeated this process with this particular pot because it had some paint in the bottom of it that I needed to get out. I think that the rust is mostly removed from just doing uh, this process one time but see here's a little bit of that paint for that is in the bottom so I went ahead and coated the pot a second time with the oven cleaner and stuck it back outside I just let it set for the eight hours so it's time to take it out of the bag and clean again I just used 
a SOS pad and scrub the pot down. Where the paint was on the pot, I did have to use a little extra uh, elbow grease and uh, a scraper, but it came right off with no problem. Now that the cookware is completely clean and dry, it's time to season the pot. This step is very, very important because it prepares the surface to be able to cook with it and keep the rust from returning. Like before, you're going to coat your pot with the oil. This time it takes a little bit more because the pot will actually absorb the oil. But still it needs to be a thin coat and um, don't let it stand in the bottom. If it does, it will burn your pot. Once it's completely coated, you want to heat your oven up to 375, put it in the oven for one hour, then turn your oven off and let the oven cool down with your pot in it. After that is done, your pot is ready to use. I would probably wash it again and then dry it on the stove like you've seen before. I know that the care of and the seasoning of this cast iron is a little tedious and it takes a little work, but cast iron lasts forever. You can hand it down from one generation to another. I have cast iron uh, cookware that my great-great-grandmother used. Thanks for watching and I hope this video has been helpful.